First off, wow, what a timing. I just made a video saying that Modern Masters 25 isn't that bad in terms of the expected value. And now Rudy posted a video. And the video is called Masters 25 Box Opening equal Wizards Forgot to Randomize the Cards. He opened two boxes. They were identical. So there's 24 packs. 23 of the packs were identical. Or the rares and mythics were identical. One pack had a land, a Moroku Center of the Sea, and the other pack had a JST Mind Sculptor. That was the only difference. And you can probably understand one pack is a ahead one and one pack is behind one. The fact that these two boxes were identical and right next to each other, why that's important is because of mapping. Mapping is what a lot of people are going to do now. This set is clearly mappable. There's no question of is it, um, is it not? When you have two boxes next to each other with 23 of the rares and mythics being exactly the same, yeah, you're going off a map. That's like the exact definition of a map. Sometimes, and many times, you actually have to try to figure out where the pieces are. In this case, you don't actually need to do that. So why is this important and how does this keep happening? Uh, it happens because of quality assurance. Wizard of Coast, uh, instead of hiring for quality engineers or people to make sure this doesn't happen, they are hiring investigators. Have you ever seen a job posting for a quality engineer? I have not seen one, but I've seen uh, you social media many times to post jobs about uh, investigations. So you can join their investigation team. Would I be surprised an investigation team's like 100 people and the quality assurance team is zero? No, that sounds about right. So a one for one, assuming Rudy is not hoaxing us because this would be a pretty good hoax. This is a disaster. Uh, even before the product is released, which is this Friday, you have a situation where single packs are a no go. Single packs are an absolute avoid at all cost because they can be mapped. And when you're looking at set and it's either Jace, Imperial Recruiter, or nothing, or maybe you're Sean Port. Yeah, people are going to get hosed to oblivion. Like, the, the issue isn't that it's a duplicate box because the box itself is kind of okay. The issue is the fact that they're right next to each other. Normally, you couldn't tell. I mean, normally, it's not this obvious. But quality has just declined to the point they're no longer even randomizing cards or packs. Randomization when you're playing this lottery, especially a high stake lottery game, is super important. Incredibly important, especially when you buy loose packs. The fact that these boxes are next to each other and the fact that people are going to stores are going to crack boxes at volume each local game store who cracks probably 100 boxes is going to really figure out what the map looks like it's not going to take a genius to figure out what the map looks like when you have identical boxes sitting next to each other and from there stores that are less customer inclined or more profit driven they're going to remove all the packs that are valuable and then put you know and give the packs that are not and sell them as you know discounted single packs the other trouble is if the box is not sealed i would avoid all boxes like that sometimes in ebay you see like oh half a box or one third of a box right for people who can't afford a full box this is definitely not the way to do it because your one dart of the box is going to be really bad. <laughs> the other card, the good cards have already been gone. It's in the other one half. I am not shocked, but I am amazed at the consistency of fails that they have shown. Uh, number one, the Ixlon. I know the Ixlon was part, therefore, not the Ixlon. They tried to blame it on this random dude who went to the print store. 
if it really was that easy, I'm, I'm not sure that it would only happen once. I feel like it would happen quite a bit because that foil print has a lot of value and somehow he was able, I mean, imagine this big foil sheet of paper, right? Like it's huge. Somehow he was able to leave the building with that. Like did he stuff it down his pants? Probably not. All right, so then you had Commander 2017 where a random dude online has access to entire decks. And that's how you spoil that. Now you have the most exciting set, Dominia. And whoa, that got spoiled from a Microsoft Word document. So it used to be we had potato camera photos. Now we have Microsoft Word documents. It, you can see like where this is trending. Soon we'll just have memes of cards. That's how cards would be spoiled in memes. Quality assurance is zero. The card quality is still bad. The printing is very poor. The paper stock is very poor. The treatment of judges and store owners is poor and obviously the customer base. And now you have this situation where you can assume that boxes are mapped. You can assume that there's no Jaces in any loose packs that you have. And the reason is there's such a big price divergence between a Jason and a Tree of Redemption that any store would be like very foolish not to if they can get away with it, right? So when you go to a store, you see these unopened boxes, right? And that, that's how they primarily sell it. They sell these loose booster packs. None of them have any value right now. As soon as that box, that seal and that box is open, you're done. I don't want to touch it. This is an unmitigated disaster right after the, and in this case, for the Domania set, they didn't say it was like somebody's fault, right? They didn't blame the judge community. They didn't blame, um, no one was blamed. It was just this vague, okay, the document was sent in Chinese and people got confused and that's what happened. That's because it's their fault. There was no one to blame. Now, they are very fast to point fingers. Oh, judge community. So it was that private judge group. I knew it. Like, what? Oh my gosh, it was that random dude who found, you know, who went, snuck in in the middle of the night and got all the Ixlon mythics and foils. And then randomly sold on eBay. Like, you have situations where they have people that they can point the finger to, right? Here in Domania's Microsoft Doc scandal, there's no fingers to point because there's no one else. Like whose fault is it that this box, these two boxes are identical? Is it Rudy's fault? No, he's a customer. Soon they're gonna be pointing fingers at the customers. They have already done that before. So, you know, you, you look at this and the mods have deleted multiple posts on Reddit. This is the one that's currently up and it's number one. The mods are clearly in on it because they delete anything that is anti Wizard of the Coast. The YouTubers, with the exception of Rudy, I'm glad that he did upload this video, they clearly support it um, because they're promoting the products and are companies that sell the product. And lastly, it's all about, like, I don't get it. If you have money to hire investigators to investigate people on social media, you don't have money to hire quality assurance people. Think of like just how strange that sounds where card stock is down, print quality is down, customers are confused and are angry. And now you don't even randomize it. So the most expensive Jace is now known. Every Jace is known. The position of Jace is actually known from just the Rudy's video because you can see where it is. So it, one booster box is one pack ahead and one booster pack box is one pack behind. That's why there's a difference of one pack. I don't know how to say it, except it's just like a giant conspiracy that never ends. And I'm not sure why customers deal with this because it's super obvious that 
they could pay someone minimal wage, $10 an hour, Walmart wage, and they could randomize the cards by hand. Or they can use a better computer program. Or they can, there's so many, we didn't, I mean, box mapping has existed for a long time. I don't want to say this is the only time people have box mapped. But for such a high quality, modern product that you know a card's going to be Jace and a card's going to be Tree of Redemption, my gosh, it's bad. My gosh, it's bad. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.